First, we will enter the notes in the treble staff. Click on the Simple Entry tool. The purple cursor with the line appears in Measure 1 of the treble staff. On the MIDI keyboard, play a C to find out where middle C is located. If the note you played does not appear as middle C in the staff, try another C on the keyboard. You may need to use the octave up and down buttons on the MIDI keyboard to find it. Just a note, every time you press the octave up button, an octave range is added to the top of the keyboard. Each time you press the octave down button, an octave range is added to the bottom of the keyboard. After finding middle C on your keyboard, clear out any notes in Measure 1 by pressing Ctrl Z several times on Windows. That would be Command Z on Mac. The purple lined cursor should still be visible in Measure 1. If it is not, then on Windows, Control click in the measure to bring it back. That's Option click in the measure on Mac. One hand will be changing duration numbers on the typewriter numeric keypad or the number row if you are using the laptop shortcut table. The other hand will be playing in pitches on the MIDI keyboard. You will hear the pitches play as you enter them. The cursor automatically advances from note to note in the measures, so you don't need to use the mouse until you need to switch tools or go to another staff. The first note in the score is a half note, so I'll press 6 to select that duration. The purple cursor shows the duration you selected. Then on the MIDI keyboard, play the E above middle C to enter the note. For the second and third notes, press 5 for the quarter note value and play E and D. Press 6 for half note and play C, C, D. Press 5 for quarter note and play D, F, E, D. 6 for half note and play middle C. If you make a mistake, press delete or undo your last command. Continuing on, I'll press 6 for half note and play G. Press 5 for quarter and play G and F. Press 6 for half note and play E. 5 for quarter, play E and then the period to add the dot. Press 4 for 8th note and play E, 5 for quarter and play D and C, 4 for 8th note and play D and E, and right after I enter the E, I'll press the shortcut T to enter a tie. Press 5 for quarter and enter E for the second note of the tie. Press 6 for half, and I'll play a C plus a period to add the dot. To enter the quarter rest, press 5 for the quarter value and 0 to enter the rest. You can also fill up an empty measure with rests by pressing the right arrow key once or twice if needed to advance the cursor to the next measure. Then for the last note, I'll press 7 for whole note value and play middle C. A quick way to go back to the beginning of your score is to press the home key on Windows. On Mac you would press the function key plus the left arrow key. If you need to go back and edit a note in an adjacent measure, Using the left and right arrow keys, navigate to the note to highlight it and then edit it. The up or down arrow keys will move the pitches up or down. Another way to highlight a note or rest 
On Windows, control click on the note or rest and then edit or delete it. On Mac, you would option click. Use these intuitive shortcut keys to add markings to a note after you've entered it in the staff. I already showed you T to add a tie on the first note of a tie and the period key to add a dot to a note. You can also press plus to add a sharp, minus to add a flat, or N to make a note natural. Go ahead and enter all of the treble staff notes. When you're finished, remember to click Out of Simple Entry. Click on any other tool icon so your MIDI keyboard does not remain active. Don't worry about the extra measure that was added at the end. We will delete that later.